Good evening, everyone. This is Controlled Chaos speaking, and I hope you have had a good Monday. If not, I hope to help with that. So that was a lovely looking dream, wasn't it? Anyways, last time, we finally made it to Refuge. The Within the center is the tower, which appears to be our goal. And along the way, we found a few more interesting characters including a very suspicious penguin. So, now we're going to see if sleeping has caused something to open up for us. With that out of the way, let's dive in, shall we? Grady? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? I did. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Of course I do. Oh. Then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, I like pancakes. Who doesn't like pancakes? Me too! On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And, oh! One of our neighbors make a lot of bread! Do you have any neighbors? Yeah, I do. Oh, do they share their food with you? Uh, we're not that close. That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns spring doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. Uh, I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Ah, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Yes, let's. We don't know how much time's left before the world goes kaput. Let's see if I remember... There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Okay. I didn't think of that. Oh. Maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut out a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangle shape. Just like arts and crafts. Hmm. I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it to the elevator? Well, let's find out. Okay. And then... A tape dispenser. Let's bolt it to the table. Minimum, but... Oh! What if I just folded the magnets under this edge? Hmm... It's holding together, if just barely. I... Hope that's good enough? Just a bit more. A tape dispenser. Oh, of course! I gotta tape it together or it might fall apart. Good thinking, Grady. There we go. That ought to hold. Well, here we go. Let's hope this works. Oh no! Oh. That didn't look good. Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. The squares? Huh? 
You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, nah. The square stuff happens all the time. I meant the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. I guess we should look for a code, Grady. Okay, so that's where this comes in. Just a sec. There we go. 63014. Let's see. Oops. Let's see. 63014. There we go. What? It works. I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Uh, good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Grady, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Eh, just one last look. See if that guy will cough up the watering can. Well, I tried with the seed. Either we're able to get back up here or we're not. Let's just go. Oh, hey, welcome back. That sure took you a while, huh? Oh, shoot. You've been waiting this whole time? And holding the door open? Well, I, uh, didn't want to be rude. I'm sorry. I should have told you to go on ahead. Eh, don't worry about it. Yeah. Sure is taking a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah, and also literally God himself. This is awkward. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time, then. You heard me? I mean, sure. All right, Grady, should I? Um... Let's ask about the city. The city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded too. First there was the refugees from the barons, and now more Glen folks are moving in too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That square ju that square stuff that we just saw? We get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. How about... Eh, let's... Well, let's ask about the library, then we'll ask about him. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Grady. Alright, how about his job? So... What do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I... Uh... I fix lights, mostly. But now I also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High-energy? 
You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of the city's stuff. Oh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that. But lately, a bunch of them have been breaking down. So, until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folks are worried. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh... Nico! Right. See you around, kid. Gotta run now. Uh, he seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Grady. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Well, he said I was delivering there. Let's follow him. Let's see. Aha! Uh, maybe not. I might have made a wrong turn. Uh... Yeah, definitely a wrong turn. Grady? Did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second. And then I saw something. Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. Uh, should I continue? Uh, I don't know. Uh, all right. Instincts don't fail me now. It's a big book. The title says, Understanding Robots. Huh. And what's this? There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Grady, are we really going to take these with us? But they look so heavy. Alright. Hey! They're actually pretty light. Uh, yeah. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, Thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Hmm. I bet that's that guy's name. Hey kid, want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Hmm? Uh, are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. Is this the library? It didn't do anything. Hmm. Probably need some power things. It's an empty rectangular slot. Looks like something could fit in here. Well, let's not mess with this for now. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, 
still getting the hang of these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad, though. Do you want one? It's okay. Thank you. Oh, boy. Hey! Hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Uh, I don't trust this guy. Aw, but... Let's see... Let's see what's over here. I think this leads to the tower, so let's leave this alone. Hmm? Yeah. Or does this lead to the tower? Yeah, this looks like it leads to the tower. Oh! Hey! Oh, hey there. You, uh... Doing okay? What are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's taking a while. I think it might be leaking. Huh? Do I have something to help with that? Don't think so. Let's see. So maybe the library is back this way. Oh, hello. Whoa! Grady, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. Maybe... I'm sorry if you are looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um... But, can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh, what do you mean by that? No reply. I know what he means. He, she. I don't know. Oh. More squares. Hmm? A curious marking on the wall. It looks like a... Ram? Oh. It's strangely warm in this room. Ah, uh, look at the cats. <laughs> Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join... your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person! You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Grady to guide me. I see. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm a little lost. But... I don't stay lost. As long as I've got a landmark. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but to go one way or the other. So let's start with this way.
Oh. I believe that's the tower. So then, well, let's see what happens. Oh, that's a tower. Maybe the library is past this. It looks like I can unlock this door. How? Um, I don't see a point to questioning it. This looks like the other side. Hello, fishbowl head. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish! Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. If only I had something to hold it in. Wait. Am I back where I started? Oh, cool. I'm back where I started. Well... Oh. Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> hey, Hatter. Uh, you alright? Ah, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me. Do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I... think... I think I should listen to Grady. After all, Grady helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Huh. So I can go back up. Hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. So yeah, I can go back up, so no worries. Though I probably just boarded Nico for half a minute. Probably just made Nico board for half a minute. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey flyer boy. Evening news, evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No? Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Uh, Aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. Okay. Hmm? What's over here? Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. Oh, okay. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. I wonder if a message is trying to be sent with this game. Because I'm starting to look at video games as an art form. Alright. Enough about hypotheticals. Let's check out the library. What? What? Well, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a library. There's books. In the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs.
Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and, uh... I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. That's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh! Are you here to look for the author, then? No? Oh, that's good. Uh, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him. Not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kinda reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Hmm. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon, these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. Yep, still scared of ladders. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Hmm. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. A book club. Big book with a black cover on the cover. Wait, black clover. Oops. The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. Okay. So general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Hmm. The Barrens has blue phosphor. The phosphor, let's see, to do, most common, organic and mineral, most commonly found, organic form, in phosphor shrimp. Right. Green phosphor from the Glen, which is of the highest energy. Rarest. Sap. Fireflies. Huh. Right. And red phosphor is the refuge. Most common. Let's see. Lowest energy. I think I've seen a lot of that. Hmm. Used with currents, this can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. So the phosphor in the supersaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. Phosphorus make sure there are proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently. Right. Okay. Well. Food for thought in the next playthrough. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The tile says, Emergence of new ecological niches in a post-sun world. Huh. Let's see. Phosphor shrimp. Sea shrimp. Let's see. Common firefly. Yeah. Okay. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kinda different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. So what do you think about the author? I... don't know. 
Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. I wonder if I can now. No. But this author sounds like the guy I need to see about that book. The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but, w but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes, he makes books out of only pictures. Neat. Hmm. Ah. Are you the publisher? Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry. These are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Eh? How come? Because otherwise, they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing, and then everyone will love it. And nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh. Uh. I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. And Mausers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. I wonder... Well, I think I changed at least half a book's worth of content. And even then, it's still too similar. Looks like I'll just have to accept my fate. Well, I guess being called a cat isn't all that bad. As long as people don't assume you eat mice. Eh, you kind of missed the point there. Let's see here. Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Ah, sorry, I just noticed you, have you? Welcome to the stream. She is not picking up. Is she... not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Can you get her in person then? Living this post is not in my programming. Then... Can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha. Thanks. Alright. 
Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Ow. Allow me to call her. Ow. <sighs> of course it was too easy. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> she is not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Wh Even in an emergency? My, my programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. <sighs> right. Well, maybe someone else knows. Let's see. Well, if that was a tower, I wonder what this way is. I mean, couldn't hurt to check. Hmm. Hmm? Luminescence index of red liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of three of three point fifty seven percent this past week. Alarming, to say the least. That is the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We'll have to further concentrate the phosphor now for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? Hmm. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The... Huh? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me... Huh. No idea how to do that. I'll have to come back. May help you to go one color at a time. Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also, robots. Mm. It's a big mail of bots with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. Hmm. It can also help to write down previous attempts. Okay. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe I'll get an easier one next time. Okay. So one color at a time, huh? Oops. There we go. That wasn't so hard. The security system has been temporarily deactivated. Would you like to reset it? 
I don't think I want to go through that again. Hmm. Oh. My robot! What happened? I don't know! I left for a minute and... Oh dear. Monitoring, monitoring. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Hmm. I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last weekend. She fell asleep. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs. Or head. Okay. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No? I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? What does that have to do with anything? Never mind. Hmm. Maybe this Dr. Silver points someone to see. Hello? Oh, shoot! If I had known you'd be here so soon, I would have turned off that darned lock! Hello there. Sorry about the weird uh, security measures. It's... It's okay. Grady helped me solve it. Did they now? So... Can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Oh hey, it's a catch-22! <laughs> really? Huh. That sounds like George, alright. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Aw. Wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set. I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot, the front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on a card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um... That was a joke. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Yeah. That sounds like what I need to do. By the way, what's this? Something is poking from this out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glare things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. Alright, pieces are coming together. Hey, Grady. Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Eh... Uh, you know... It would be one less thing to be carrying around. Let's have a look. 
Oh. Th that's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked... Kinda like you? I see. <sighs> it was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? You wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But it turns out, you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that, Amber, okay? I will. Hmm. How's uh Let's see Ah, here you are. Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for uh, reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? <laughs> You're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Grady and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs. Like me. Hmm, alright. You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? Camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that, I mean the concave lens did. Can you tell me how to fix it, the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see... When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Hmm... Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. I think I got enough out of that. So, that works. Yay! First try! So, let's see here. Uh, cheese? Ouch! Oh, my eyes! Well, it works. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Alrighty. Grady and I fixed the camera! Ah, sweet! Anyway, if you like what you've just watched, be sure to tune in next week, same time. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter to keep up to date on any announcements I post there. And I'll be... 
putting an edited version of this stream onto YouTube, so be sure to check out my channel. And with that said, I hope the rest of your week will be great. This has been the end of a Monday. Have a good evening.